I'm hitting the side of the thing there. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are back up north here at Hilltop Line to uh, redo our bounty quest for the second time because something got borked and I finished it, got rewarded for it, and then the game still thought I needed to do it again. <laughs> so that's where we are. Uh, we're going to start off guy by getting this out of the way. Um, also, because I reset it, it has... Uh, it has a lot more bad bads now. So, yeah, we're going to take these guys out. We'll go to the headquarters and turn it in. And then we will get started back on the main quest line. That's the plan. Okay, so... I don't want to just go in there guns blazing because there are actually a lot of dudes out there. So, um, if possible, I'd like to see if we can take a couple of them out, uh, you know, quietly or yeah, see how many there are down there. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. On the other hand, what was that? Let's just do this. <laughs> okay. Even if we didn't kill any of them, we certainly softened them up. Um, and I did see, uh, notice that the boss was down there too, because sometimes on these quests, the boss doesn't uh, appear. <laughs> so they're a little wonky. But they're worth doing, because, well, A, they're fun, but B... We get pretty decent rewards for doing it, but mostly A. They're just fun. Gives us some extra content to do here in the game. All right, so we'll come around this side. Kazoon <coughs> tight. Excuse me. <laughs> Doesn't look like anybody pursued me, <laughs> but they are on alert. I mean, you know, I would be too if somebody tossed three grenades into my camp. All right, let's do this. Let's get up over here. Assuming that they can come around this way. Let's put a frag down. All right, there's a guy right there. Says we're hidden. I'm going to say we probably got them all. <laughs> I'll take the 308s for sure. Um, we'll pick up the battle rifle for now. Take the grenades. 
and the fingers from you. Uh, I don't want the service revolver. That cowboy repeater's in reasonably good shape. Alright, we have to we just have to find the boss. Uh, I did see his name pop up, so he is here. It's just a matter of where he is. I'm not quite ready to unlock average a safe yet. Okay, so there's th three bodies here, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. All right. Here's the, here we go. Here's the boss, okay. He's got some nice stuff on him, man. Finger of Fugitive, that's the thing we really want. And uh, yeah, I know I, I picked up his heavy armor too, so we'll check it and drop it if we need to. More 308s. Don't want any of the rest of that stuff. That's the old raider boss. <laughs> He's still here. Just to prove my point, right? <laughs> then we had to redo this quest. That's funny. All right. I guess that's all of them. We checked you a couple of times already now. Anybody come down here? I don't think so. All right. Well, I want to say that. That body was down there before. So I think that's a wastelander. That's not even a raider at all. What is this? Oh, that's a police baton. Riot baton. Okay, well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go... I'm going to go back to the train tunnel. Because there's a gopher hole there. Or a mole hole. And then just take it over to the regulator headquarters. So I'll see you guys over there. Um, I might as well pick up as much shit as I can carry and then just sell it all. Wow, I can carry all of that stuff, huh? Must be getting really close. Still have more room. Okay. And then we'll pick it all up and sell it all then. Okay, I'll see you guys over at Regulator Headquarters. All right. The Regulators welcome you back. All right. Fingers. The Unrighteous will... Take them all. You've done good work. I know. Good deeds. Thank you. 600 caps. Nice. Regulate. So that was 60 fingers. Okay. Let's turn in our quest here. Collect bounty. Loading. Select reward ammo. 308 caliber. back log off and we should get another 150 caps and some 308s out of here all right let's take the next one. Oh, nice okay way way back down in the south uh, which is pretty much where we're gonna be heading anyways uh, we could even stop off and try this Andale thing out um, and we may go back to Ten and Penny Tower and mess around over there, too. I don't remember if we can do a whole lot with Ten Penny Tower after the Megaton quest line is done. But for those of you who may not know, if you decide to blow up Megaton, you know, with the bomb there, then there's more the people behind that are at 10 penny tower so you go over there and you do stuff there too um but since i decided to save megaton i'm not sure how that plays out but we could certainly go you know check it out all right i'm gonna go home do the usual and then um we're gonna get started back on the main quest line so i'll see you guys uh, when we're ready to do that all right, guys, we're out uh, on our way down south again into the city. 
and uh, just killed a couple raiders and a robot, and I got this reverse engineered perk. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, let's see, stats and perks, reverse engineered. You got a strong preference for where you like your weapon magazines. You've now got a 5% faster reload speed with another millennia bullpup weaponry. With another millennia bullpup? What? Is that like, I guess that's a brand? Or does that mean all bullpup weaponry? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll take it. Um, that's a wastelander down there, but usually when I come by here, there's more than, there's like four or five bandits, um, and I've only seen these three. We're going to definitely travel light for now, because I'm not planning on coming back for a bit. Let's go check this bot down here, and... Just in case there are more bandits, be on the lookout. Dead, oh, never mind. I thought you looked very much like a wastelander. Huh, that was weird. Okay. Wonder why he didn't activate when everybody else did. A little too far away, I guess. All right, we got some. Yeah, those are raiders too. Correction, those were raiders. We do have a caution. Quit making so much noise, dog meat. Still have not come across a hunting rifle. Over here. Oh, we didn't kill you all the way. Did now. Couldn't quite tell if he was down all the way or not. Big scorpion over that way. This is our big scorpion gun here. We haven't been back to Great Itch for a while. Wonder how that kid's doing. Isn't this his house here? Let's go talk to him. Oh wait, he doesn't live here anymore. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot we we took him down to uh, what should we call it? Well, he took himself down to uh, Rivet City. I think what we'll do is we'll go through the metro, kill a few more ants along the way and get some more ant nectar. And then we'll uh, we never, it comes out on the other side in a place called Falls Church, which I don't think we ever really did anything with, so we'll just kind of investigate that as we go along. Let's 
hoping dog meat would kill him so we didn't have to waste ammo, but it's all right. There's some nectar. Nothing on him. Nothing on him. Nectar. It's a lunchbox. Yeah, that goes down to Falls Church there. been in the metros in a while. Guess we'll go this way. I actually like the ant meat too because the food you make from it doesn't uh, irradiate you. Falls Church. We've poked our head out here, but we haven't... We haven't really gone through here all the way. Dead Raider. Mm, I think I'll leave the assault rifle. Kind of a cool looking station. That's a muty fighting somebody. Well, whoever it was, the mutant won. Unfortunately for him, it didn't do him a damn bit of good. Okay, we still have another mutie. I hear him, I just don't know where he is. Ooh, look at that. Um... I can't... What the fuck, man? I can't turn the lock. Uh, Oh, there we go. Right there. Contact. Okay, so I think we're clear. Well, we got a caution again. God, right. Let's get this guy out. Okay. 
can't hide from me. I can taste your fear. Where the hell you at? Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> you just about killed that bastard. All right, we still have a caution, so let's stay cautious. Shoulder-mounted machine gun. Really? Let's look at that, because that's the first time I've seen it. Eight hundred fifty-five DPS. We have enough strength. And it uses 10 millimeter rounds. Um, how does that compare with our mercenaries? No, nope, our mercenary still does 937 DPS. That is such an insane amount of damage. Uh, let's see. This is not worth much of anything at all. Um, and it's heavier than shit. But it is, <clears throat> it's pretty unique though. So I'm going to hang on to it for now. For that reason, and we'll see if we can manage to get it home. All right, let's check these guys. I'll leave the laser rifle. Oh, they were fighting Brotherhood. Okay. I'm not taking their armor. We already got a full set of all the different types of Brotherhood armor, at least the types that I've come across so far. All right, I guess that's it for Falls Church. Let's go take a look over here. hitting the side of the thing there. Okay. Standing next to buses that can explode with a nuclear explosion. Bad idea. Oh, shit. Now I've got to redo all of this. Yeah, well, maybe not all of it. I knew it. Oh, hey, we got a mole hole right here. Never even noticed that with the dark and night vision. Okay, yeah, let's not stand anywhere near that fucking bus. But we know we got more baddies over there. Let's get up here. Just watching for movement here. All right, let's head over here. We still have a caution, I just don't know why. Not interested in any of your stuff. Take 
that. And we killed a third guy, didn't we? Right here. Oh. No, that's the other guy. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, I think we did. I just don't know where he's at. Further over this way. That's a... That's like a plane or a rocket or something. Oh no, that's a train. Never mind. Yeah, that's a train. Yeah, I don't know where that other body went, but whatever. Let's just go. Is he closer this way? I'm such a loot whore, I can't I can't help but not try and find it. <laughs> Alright, so we got like a little playground here. There's another metro over there, which I don't think we've discovered. He said he was hoping for a fight. All right, well, we can... We can oblige. Just gonna kind of study his pat here for a minute. Don't have a good clear headshot. care of the upper dude. Let's go after the lower dude. I hear two sets of footprints. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's just take these off. Take the cherry bomb and the wonder glue. Bottle caps. 
sure that thing's not rigged to explode. <laughs> Which has happened a couple of times. Where are we at? Okay, yeah. We have never been here. It just looked really familiar, so that's why I was a little uncertain. This looks like a school. Let's go up and grab the loot from these guys we killed. I think we're clear for the moment. Okay. Fairford. No more games. Oh. I think that's a that's an that's not the same molehole that we just discovered, is it? I, I think it's a different one. Alright, where's this bastard at? to come out Okay, let's uh top ourselves off here. I'm going to take a we get some rads if we do blood packs. Let's just do a no normal stim pack. Okay, let's go discover this mole hole, and then we'll go discover the metro. Is this an actual POI we can go into? Ooh, it is. L-O-B Enterprises. Okay. So I guess that would be the Falls Church East molehole for future reference. Okay. All of these routes are probably blocked. Yeah, they are. Okay. Be cool if somebody made a mod for uh, Fallout 3 that opened up the city so you could just travel through it and not be blocked off, but I'm sure that's not as simple as it may sound. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I just don't like the way that... Falls Church North Metro. Okay. I just don't like the way that they implemented it to where you can't just walk through the city, but it's it's blocked off. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. I mean, the whole damn place was destroyed, so you would expect some of that, but it's just like a little more freedom of movement throughout the city. Okay, so we've discovered all of the stuff over uh, this way. Um, and we, we could and probably will go through the Falls Church North Metro to see where it comes out at, but I wanted to also explore over here a little more, too. Oop, 
Okay, we got contact. No longer well rested. Okay, so that goes back to the normal Falls Church Metro. Now, can we get over there? Oh, that's crazy looking. <laughs> Those buildings leaning into each other. We can get over here. Look at that. Let's just explore a little more. Oh, I guess there was a bridge right there. With our dog running across it. Okay, we got contact over there. Blocked from going that way. Take the smokes. And I guess that's it. Let's head back over to the Falls Church North Metro and see where that leads us. Just bottles. You know, something else too, to, for me as well as you to be aware of, because I don't, I kind of forget this, is we don't have to completely finish Fallout 3 before we go to Vegas, because we can come back here and do more stuff later. Um, thing is, is I don't even know where the train station is that gets us to New Vegas. I haven't looked that up. I kind of want to try and find it on my own, but if, you know, if I can't find it within a a reasonable period of time then I'll probably will look it up uh, so don't tell me that in the comments either by the way if you do know where it is let me see if I can find it again within a reasonable amount of time but for now you know we'll keep working on the quest with our dad but even if we do finish the main quest again that still doesn't mean we can't come back here later and do more stuff all right let's do a save before we go in here Okay, this place is beat to shit. I don't think I've been here. I, I mean, I I haven't been here from the outside, but I may have come to it via another metro earlier on. I just don't remember. Man, this place is trashed. Take Mintats. Stim pack. I think 
think that's all that's in there, aside from that food, which I don't want. No, I... Fuck. I don't think I've been in here. This place is completely obliterated, man. I've never... I would have remembered this. All right. Those guys scared the hell out of me. Oh shit, this place is irradiated too. I just realized that. I don't know if the whole place is, but... I think it's just this one spot we're looking at there. And anywhere near that bastard is going to be irradiated. It doesn't look like we can get through over there. On that side. Or that side. So we might have to cross over. All right. Let's try and avoid irradiation if we can. Yeah, there's no getting through these tunnels. stuff in there. Scout handbook. I'll take that. Plus two to permanent survival. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure there's no route through that way. And I don't see any point in going down there and get getting irradiated, so let's just go. Arlington National Cemetery. We've never been here. I've actually been there in real life. Long, long time ago. Okay, we got another gopher hole. Mole hole. I don't know. I always call them gopher holes. They're mole holes, yo. see any bads so far. Let's look at the map. Okay. That looks like an actual building we can go into. Let's, before we do that, um, let's... Special Affairs Bureau. Okay. Let's, um, let's get to that mole hole. Excuse me. Mama Dolce's? Okay. Well, 
Ama Dolce's processed foods. So kind of like the equivalent of a hostess in real in the real world. Maybe. Or what Dolly Madison, I think it's called. Other outfits like that that make all that those processed uh, pastries and things. Oh shit, don't make any noise. This place so far is surprisingly devoid of bad bads. Okay. Mama Dolce's can now be transported to. Very nice. Oh shit. Stay away from that. Uh Oh, does Mama Dolce's make all the this pre-war food maybe? Seems like that's what all this is. All right, there's the cemetery. Just, uh, it's interesting to see how they recreated the Fallout version of the Arlington National Cemetery. It's a very large place. Um, with, you know, just a picture a huge, huge cemetery of green grass with nothing but crosses for, I don't know, as far as you can see, but for a really long ways. So it's interesting how they did this. There's like no enemies around here at all. Watch the death claw pop out of nowhere now and bite my head off. Huh. I don't remember coming here um, the first time I played Fallout 3. I may have, I just don't remember. My uncle, who was um, a Vietnam vet, passed away last year. And at his funeral, they, you know, they gave him, of course, a military funeral. That's the first time I had been to uh, a military, you know, funeral with the um, uh, color guard and the, and the, you know, fire, firing of the guns. I know I'm not using the right terminology. Apologize for that, but it was a very neat experience just to see. You know, them honor him for his service and the the ceremony and everything that they did. So, much respect to all veterans. Thank you for your service. I know people say that all the time, but I appreciate it. Interesting. Look at this pristine flower here in the midst of all of this waste. Let's go see what this house up here is about. This is a pretty large area. Which it should be. You know, cemetery and all. Arlington House. Take that stuff. Big book of science. Nice.
Yeah, earlier when I <clears throat> was having problems with this lock, <coughs> excuse me, um, you press the space bar to move it, to rotate it, and it wasn't working for some reason. Uh, what's the VW? Yeah, terrible. We're not taking that. Or we'll take it, but we'll drop it if we need to. Oh, shit! Dude, you scared the fuck out of me. Where did you come from? Junder's Plunkett's Finger. Plunkett's Valid Points. <laughs> okay. That's a named item, so we'll take it for that reason. Wow. Scared the hell out of me, man. Wonder what his story is. He didn't drop a note or anything. I don't think he did, did he? Uh-uh. Okay. Try this safe out here. Alright, let's see. We don't really want any of that shit. Those are just books. Here we go. Luck bobblehead, nice. Rad X. Guess we'll take all that. Nice little haul of medical supplies. It's got a little shrine to Lincoln. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, the guy was obviously hostile towards us. So we have to assume... Well, we don't have to assume anything. We had to defend ourselves. So whether or not he was a bad guy doesn't matter because we had to defend ourselves. Take the BBs, and the darts, and the cherry bomb. All right, that's all we want from that stuff. Guess that's it for Arlington House. Big book of science. Nice. Alrighty. Well, um, I think what we'll do then is head this direction. <clears throat> I didn't see any other way out of here over by those areas so this appears to be the way out even though it's kind of going in the wrong direction Badness down here. Kick ass. Ooh, Just 
Ouch. I couldn't see him because of all the damn smoke. Mercenary shotgun, let's look at it. Um, it's got a halfway decent VW. So we'll hang on to it until we don't, we can't. This is cool looking. Little fountain. That's not an entrance anywhere, is it? Uh-uh. It's all in pretty bad condition, so it's not going to be worth taking, I don't think. Oh, we already looked at him. Wasn't there a th third? Bandit. Raider. Yeah, right here. It's going to be all irradiated, so let's avoid. We have another metro here. Arlington Cemetery North. Okay. Sexy sleepwear? No. We don't need any sexy sleepwear because we already have sexy jammies. A dead regulator? Hey, that's one of our brothers in arms. Junders Plunkett. Okay, so the game expected us to come through the metro to get here. Well, we did, but we just came through a, the back metro and run into this and go after him. So we <laughs> we kind of already did it. It did, you know, it did give us Junders Plunkett's finger. So um, if we go here... Uh, no, sorry. Go to data. Notice to all good men and women seeking lawful bounties in the capital waste. Let it be known that the murderous person known as Junders Blunkett of fair complexion, average height, and missing one good eyeball is offered for bounty, either dead or alive. In the cell. A thousand gaps? Holy shit. Or a similar compensation of expended equipment and medical expenses. Junders Blunkett is seen, was last seen committing theft and murder in the township of Canterbury Commons. The apprehending person should exercise special caution as the bountied personage is noted for an uncommon aptitude with small concealable blades. All right, so do we... Uh... So these are all just challenges. Wait, what? I guess the ones that... Yeah, we've, we've just kind of done these as we've gone along, I guess. Well? Okay, what's the difference between the ones with the asterisk and the ones without? Oh, okay, we haven't started these, whereas these were in progress. I see, okay. I haven't even... I mean, I knew they were there, but I haven't... I didn't... I guess it didn't dawn on me that we can actually look at them from here or I never tried to maybe that's what I'm trying to say okay anyway um so I don't see an actual quest for this though so where do we turn it in at just at the bounty probably the uh, regulators headquarters right that's what I'm gonna assume so okay Starting to get dark. Are 
Arlington Wasteland Metro. Okay, before we go into there, what does this one say? Arlington Utility. Well, we need to go... We need to get to this bridge here, so... I guess... I guess we'll go this way. I mean, I have no idea which way either one of them goes, so... Just trip something. That grenade cocktail. Bouquet, rather. Okay, let's go this way. A little minor bug that I run into is I can't, sometimes I can't crouch, so I have to go prone and then come back up into a crouch. It's really weird. I guess the raiders further in didn't hear those weapons blasts, or if they did, they don't give a shit. Mercenary assault shotgun, metal armor in reasonably good shape. We'll pick it up for now. Much terrain shit in the way to get a good shot on. Okay, we got her. It's go time. Dog meat walked right in front of my, <laughs> in front of me when I shot that first burst. their stuff here. Interesting place. It's go time. All right before we go that way, there was an upper area. Let's ch check that out real quick. It might not be go anywhere. No, it doesn't. It's just like a lookout point. Okay. Ah! 
45 had a mod on it. Oop. I think I hear a mire mark. I sure do. Okay. Mirelurk Hunter. Scratch him. Set off something else, though. Thirty two rifle. Not interested. Colt Range Master. Take the stim packs and the ammunition, but we will leave the assault rifle. Oh, nope, stay away from radiation. Alright, guess we go this way. Hatchling Meyer look meat. Door to DCTA tunnel 014 B Potomac. All right. This way. Why is that light shining down in this tunnel? I don't know. We'll go that other way in a minute. Raider sign. Shh. These Meyer lurks are hanging people up on the wall like raiders. There's some lurks way down there. Come at me, bros.
Take a quick peek in here. Mm, I don't want to go into water. Man, total mire lurk infestation down here. Okay, so I think that's the exit. Um, before we go out here, though, well, it might be the exit. Let's run up here real quick. Eh. Yeah, let's just go out over here. Well, assuming this takes us out. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it takes us to Georgetown. Okay. And we crashed. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Um, and, um, we'll just pick up where we left off of the next episode and continue working our way eventually down to, you know, back to the Jefferson Memorial, which is where we'll pick up the quest with our father. We'll probably stop off at Rivet City, though, to drop things off, ship stuff back to Megaton and all of that. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.